Welcome to H2K Infosys. H2K Infosys is a e-verified business based in Atlanta, Georgia, United States. We provide 100% job-oriented, instructor-led, face-to-face through live online software training program. It also includes access to Cloud Test Lab with software tools. We provide live projects for you to work on. We also provide assistance with mock interviews, resume preparation and review, and job placement assistance. H2K Infosys is trusted by so many students across the world. H2K Infosys provides world-class services in IT training with real-time project work for corporates and individuals, special IT training for MS students in the United States, software design development, QA manual and automation, performance testing and maintenance, IT staff augmentation, job placement assistance and tech support.
and they tested in speaking to the DM and such a intense i don't want to talk about uh, development and all okay if i am talking about development right there should be lot of layers and uh, lot of discussions with him so and also what we need to do is we need to do this interest testing interest testing is important for your mobile application testing the reason is when i am working with my application i have to make sure that my application is not interesting by any of the other other source what do you mean by that say for example if i am working with my one application when i am working with the application if i am getting any incoming call when i am getting that incoming call i have to make sure that my existing application is is not getting any problem it's not losing it's not getting any interruption from the incoming call so like this right you are having lot of things like calls sms you have so many things but also we will be discussing going forward what is interest testing what kind of interruptions are available in your mobile application testing yeah many things like messages alarms i mean network so many things are there but we will talk about that interest testing like what kind of testings are available and then how to do this interest testing for the so this is our application and also if you see this right here this is right this integration testing will be done by this uh, developer right there is no point of uh, testers here but web services yeah web services right testers will be involved here testers will be this uh, testers will be a part here mobile web services and here fyi is nothing but uh, service oriented architecture here this device management testing yeah we will do sometimes we will take sometimes and then security testing right uh, what we have some tools or uh, there will be a separate team a rather than testing and authentication we will do and this complete testing will be done by the tester authentication testing functionality testing and then uh, compatibility testing ui testing and interrupt testing see middle way will be tested with the help of middle uh, web services always you can test your middle way is nothing but testing the web services if all the web services are working fine then you can say that my middle way is good middle way is not is not having any issue so prof um so prof this is neema here um i have a question very quick question with this regard when you are saying that to test the you know do your web services testing in middle way that's where my question is like you know um is only a mobile app or to test the Mobile app, does it access the web services? Yeah, see here, right? See, this is the front end. You cannot see that front end. What will happen? Say, for example, if you are accessing something, right? You will get that response, and you can see in the front end. There, you cannot see your uh, web services. What you will do is, you will test this web services separately. Like what you can do, right? Web services are nothing but right. Say URL. So what I will do is, I will give that URL. When you are opening that URL in your uh, browser what will happen is you will get that response from your uh, middle way right this is this is a separate part don't yeah, use from a middle way um, so my question is even in case you know some for example if you uh, open a browser from your website to our uh, mobile then will that also access the web server i mean will that also be uh, using a web service yes see let me give you one example web services right let me move it we are talking about that let me yeah, move it yeah i'm i'm kind of quite confused about that one yeah no problem no problem Thank see you. here right when i'm talking about web services means right see when i'm implementing my application right this is my application say for example right you are saying that uh, uh, you want to say that bank of america you want to say that so this is my application now i wanted to implement this application with like uh, 
as I wanted to implement with Android and with Windows and I so I wanted to implement this uh, Bank of America application with uh, different device. When you want to implement this, right? See, what do you mean by that? Here, right? When I want to implement with Android, I need to write my login for Android. I need to write login for Windows. I need to write my login for iPhone, right? That is the time zone. So what I will do in the middle layer. So in the middle layer, what I will do, right? In the middle layer, I will write a function called login. In the middle layer, I will write a function called login. And what I will do, I will, as a middleware uh, developer, I will give this web services to the all the mobile web developers. So what they will do? Now, while writing this uh, iPhone guys, you will point to here. What I will do? My iPhone developer will point here. My Android will point here. My other one here. That means, right, no need to write login page for each and every application. So, how much time it will uh, reduce? Let's imagine. So, this is the way the web services will work. So, what I will do, I will write a common component. So, say for example, this is a login for my Amazon, whatever that bank of Amazon. And what I will do, I will give this web services to the developer. What developers will do, wherever it is required things, so they will give a reference here. And once you are opening that login page, then your iPhone will hit this web services and this web services will hit your middleware and middleware will give a response as a login page and the login page will be displayed in your iPhone. That is the logic actually. See, let me explain you again, right? What I will do, right? Say for example, here. iPhone developer, right? Uh, no, 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 we are not a developer. Just I'm trying to explain you that logic, okay? We will not get the code only. We will check whether that uh, services, the request and response is coming properly or not. We are not the developer, right? So here, right, what I will do in the iPhone, just imagine, right, in the iPhone, what I will do, I will use this URL. When you are using this URL, iPhone, what it will do, it will search this login for me. Because here I use my login reference. So it will search this. Once it is searching this web services, this web services, right, will go to that server, right, it will go to that server, it will go to that uh, whatever that server, and it will get a response here. Now it will go to that server, it will get a response back to your web services. And web service, what it will do, it will display the result in the iPhone. That means it, it will display the login page in your iPhone. That means as an end user, you don't know what is happening in the back, back end, which is the logic. Now, similarly, in Android also, when I'm opening my login page, already while writing my script, I gave my reference. That means I gave my web services. It will go here, it will go to server, get a response back, and it will display here. That means right here, no need to write the login page for each and every device, right? If I'm having the different platforms, say for example, iPhone, Android, Blackberry, Windows, I'm writing my application for five platforms. That time, right, no need to write the login page for each and every platform. Instead of that, we will create a web service called login and we will keep in the middle layer and each and every mobile developer go there and hit that uh, login page and they will get that login page into the device. That is the logic like behind your middleware. Right? Hope you are clear. Yes, Prashad, thank you. So, okay. with certain functionalities on the webpage, you can just you will uh, use the web services. It depends, right? Right, right, right. Uh, See, and, 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 and,
our students have given testimonials on how our training programs are. You will find them on kudzu.com and on our website h2kinfosys.com. On our website h2kinfosys.com, you will also find more detailed information on who we are, the courses that we offer, what each course covers. Also, if you're interested in a demo program, Please register on our home page on the left hand side. Just give us more information about yourself and we will send you a link for a demo class. The demo class is absolutely free. Experience our commitment by just attending an orientation workshop at no cost. Our team of faculty and advisors are here to guide you with the right information. still have more questions, please feel free to call us. Call us at 770-777-1269. This is a United States number. If you're calling from the UK, call us at 020-337-17615. You can also email us at training at h2kinfosys.com or h2kinfosys at gmail.com. Thank you for watching our videos. We wish you a great career in information technology.